When I am dead, wrap the mantle of the red, the black and the green around me. For in the new life, I shall rise up with God's strength and blessing. To lead the millions of the heights and the fire that you will know. Look for me in a world when I are a storm. Look for me all around you. For with God's grace, I shall come back with countless millions of black men and women who have died in America. Those who have died in the West Indies and those who have died in Africa. To aid you with the fight for liberty, freedom, and rights. Oh yes, Royal Family Beautiful. Hey, you're definitely in tune to Radio Anu. Talking about the international flavor, the universal spice. Honorable Priest Isaac here with you. Hey, the link is priestisaacinstitute.com. Share the link, Royal Family. As we say, happy Juneteenth. Happy Freedom Day to all of those who celebrate such a day. We're talking about June 19th, and of course now is 2024. But hey, this is interesting. As we were saying earlier, Marcus Messiah Garvey in the whirlwind, in the storm, in the hurricane, as he himself said he would return in such, would have visited the celebration in in the United States, Juneteenth. Now, you may be saying, what you talking about, boy? We didn't know Marcus Messiah Garvey came to the celebration in Juneteenth. All right, family, before we go thus far, let me at least explain to those who need some more knowledge as it relates to Juneteenth what it's all about. Now, of course, you know, 1863, mm -hmm, the 1st of January, you had what is known as the Emancipation Proclamation in the United States taking effect. Of course, President Lincoln would have, as the history books tell us, freed the slaves. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'm just going to read something here, an article continuing my, my explanation, dear. And it says, but not Everyone in Confederate territory would immediately be free, mm -hmm. even though the Emancipation Proclamation was made effective in 1863, it could not be implemented in places still under Confederate control. As a result, in the westernmost Confederate state of Texas, enslaved people would not be free until much later freedom finally came on june 19th 1865 when some 2000 union troops arrived in galveston bay texas the army announced that more than 250000 enslaved black people in the state were free by executive decree this day came to be known as Juneteenth mm -hmm, by the newly freed people in Texas. Okay, Galveston Bay, Galveston, Texas was really where Juneteenth began. And Juneteenth now is celebrated all across the United States of America. Just the other day, we did a video where you saw even the president of the United States of America celebrating Juneteenth on the lawn of the White House. That's when they were dancing and he stuck froze for a moment. But as it relates to Marcus Messiah Garvey now, you know Marcus Messiah Garvey clearly showed us. Look for him in the whirlwind. Look for him in the thunderstorm. You just saw the ad highlighting our documentary known as The Night of the Black Tiger. And for those of you who have a copy of The Night of the Black Tiger, you know that Marcus Messiah Garvey represents the god known as Hurrakan. We have proven that you could see Marcus Messiah Garvey in Hurricane Harvey. Mm -hmm. In Hurricane Harvey, in Hurricane Irma, even Hurricane Maria. All of that has been proven in the Night of the Black Tiger. Now, as we speak, the first name storm of the year, Alberto, is beating down on Texas. I want you to listen to this. 
And tonight, tropical storm Alberto forms in the Gulf, causing flooding, rough surf, and storm surge. Right now, we have cameras in Houston and along the coast, courtesy of Saltwater Recon, helping us track the impacts for you tonight. Our team also spread out, tracking the season's first named storm, with reports from South Padre Island, Corpus Christi, Surfside Beach, and Galveston. But we begin with Chief Meteorologist David Paul on the biggest impacts we're seeing right now, Dave. And they have been and will continue to be on the immediate coast where the rise in the water as the wind pushes it up onto the beaches is two to four feet above normal. That's the surge. That's why we've got so many high water spots on roadways, Jamaica Beach uh, down to Surfside and other spots on the coast. Also, winds gusting to 37 miles an hour in Galveston during the past hour. Okay, that's it. That's it. Hmm. So this is Texas. And you could see for yourself, and of course, courtesy of KHOU 11 News. And you could see the gusts, the wind gusts, 29, 26, Cleveland, 26, Hobby, 22, Pierland. He said something about Jamaica Beach. <laughs> That's a laugh. Uh, 29, uh, Brenham. But the highest gusts, listen to me, the highest wind gusts, wind speed, the highest concentration follow me eh? of the first name storm of the year mr alberto you show is alberto oh it's messiah garvey the highest gust is in galveston texas tonight as he said a moment ago within the hour this is fresh brand new 2024 the 19th day of june Juneteenth, the first name storm appear in Texas. And to show you how serious it is, the highest gust of wind is in Galveston, where Juneteenth began. Who is the real liberator and emancipator? It is Marcus Messiah Gavi. Give thanks. Marcus I. Celestia Ja. Rastafari Royal Family, as I said, make sure you stay tuned. This is Radio Anu, the international flavor. I'm talking about the Universal Spice. Priest Isaac Institute.com. Make sure you share the link with the family and get a copy. Get a copy of the documentary, The Night of the Black Tiger. When I am dead, wrap the mantle of the red, the black and the green around me, for in the new life I shall rise up first with God's strength and blessing to lead the millions of the heights and the fire that you will know. Look for me in a world when I are a storm, look for me all around you, for with God's grace I shall come back with countless millions of black men and women who have died in America, those who have died in the West Indies, and those who have died in Africa, to aid you with the fight for liberty, freedom, and righteousness. 